Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Now these bales are those bonus bales that we created where the potatoes now are growing and they're almost fermented, they're 84% fermented so in this episode at some point, probably near the end, we'll be able to sell these in the trigger just over here. But obviously in the meantime we need to do some other jobs. Now I haven't actually been up to the farm yet to see exactly what's going on so... Oh, the engine was already running. Let's go up there, we'll have a look and actually the potatoes should have germinated we are, of course, clearing the area of forest, and we do need to take the stumps out still. But that area is going to be either a field extension or it's going to be its own little field of potatoes. Uh, we'll have to work out what the best thing to do is. Maybe potatoes first and then eventually just connect it to the other field. Because we do already have a growing crop in this field here. This is the part I'm referring to, just over there where the potato planter is. So, um, yeah, obviously we've got lots of soybeans growing, but we don't have anything ready to harvest. Except for grass, we do have grass. So yeah, I think we're going to have to resume operations in the forest. That is going to make sense. Um, but yeah, as I said, we do have grass, so maybe we should do something with that. But let's just have a look at those potatoes. We do have potatoes growing. I don't want to lag out and then destroy them all. There. Right, so they look good. And they have got perfect pH and perfect nitrogen. They do also have weeds. Uh, I think actually we do have a weeder, but if I run through that with a normal tractor, I'm going to destroy the crop. Don't we have... I'm sure we have a little weeder. Did we get rid of the little weeder? Maybe we have just got the sprayer these days. Uh, okay. So I'll put some narrow tyres onto this little tractor. It's a really good tractor for the sprayer. And now the next thing is, will we have any herbicide in the sprayer? No. Hooray. So, oh good. Let's go and get some. I don't think we have any. Pretty sure we don't. Do we have a weeder? I should really check on this. I don't think we do. So we do already have one, but it's just here. <laughs> it's not, not been transported back to the main yard. So let's just... Oh wow, good. We got the whole thing in. Let's take this back and we'll go and consume a very, very small portion of it on the potato field. But it's better to spray those weeds now before they start to spread and cause damage to our yield. So it'd be good to have no crop destruction, because we have spent a thousand pounds on these new wheels. And yeah, look at the working with this sprayer compared to the size of the field. We're going to get this done in no time, providing the tractor has the power. Now, uh, Chainsaw might have already sprayed this, but it did still say small weeds. And I saw weeds. Right, so no, no weeds. Weeds. It says weeds small. Uh, I can't see them, actually. But it does say there's weeds, so I don't know. Oh, dear. If it says there's weeds, I guess the game knows it's going to somehow impact the yield. So we probably should just do it. It's using next to no herbicide as well. But yeah, that grass field over there probably should have some work done to it. Because then it can regrow. Even if we are just cutting it for grass, that's still better than nothing because, of course, we're getting a crop off it and it gives us more crop when it regrows. But it's usually best to go to the effort of wrapping those grass bells because then we get some expensive silage bells. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't suppose we'll ever know what the benefit will be of doing this. But, yeah, it's um, the fact that it says it's got small weeds just makes me want to do it. Somebody will probably tell me in the comment section that it's literally doing nothing at all. It looks like that. It does look that way. Oh, I can see a weed there, actually. Yes, we killed that weed. Hooray! Maybe it was that one weed that was making the entire field show that it's got weeds. Although, I think it probably works in blocks, not in... I don't think it categorises the entire field, just by looking at one area. Then again, I might be wrong. Okay, right, so there we go, we've done something. 
only used 12% on the herbicide, so not a lot has been lost there. It's good to have a small tractor configured with the narrow tires. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> you naughty sprayer. You go in here. You go to the same place that I'm going to. Are you going over there now? It's attracted to water now. Yeah, it's actually a really difficult thing to reverse for some reason. I have no idea why. Okay, now let's get on to the real job of today, which I think is going to be a continuation of this area. Chainsaw is removing the stumps, and we, of course, need to either cultivate or we do need to take more trees down. Yeah, it would make sense to remove these trees. So we will remove these trees. We'll get some more money in that way, and we can have a proper field expansion. Maybe I should just go through chopping up to where we're going to go to. In the previous episode, I did retexture the ground so that we could actually see where these logs are, where the tree trunks fall. Okay, that one there. Yeah, so we actually we do own all this. This is all ours. So maybe in the end, all of this is going to go. Crikey, we do have a big job on our hands. But it just depends how big we want to have this first little field. If we're going to do one. And I think what we'll do is get the Massey Ferguson. And we'll go and get that trailer. Unless chainsaws, chainsaw might be getting it, actually. So we'll prepare these logs. We're ready to load. Just notice we're actually flashing fuel and the tractor also could seriously do with a service so we're going to get that done um crikey i just wanted to cut that am i ever going to cut it uh let's see here right okay <laughs> uh yes we have cut it and that is actually an optimum length oh go away lag and um Yes, if you're called lag, I don't, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking about the actual lag in the game. Uh, right. Yes, all lags are welcome, except for connection lags. Well, Chainsaw has had a good idea, and that is to build a carpentry. Instead of just selling all this wood all the time, we should actually make some products out of it. Locally sourced wood. In fact, built on site, on location. Uh, but yeah, this place here is actually the the best place for that. So we have to move the trailer first of all. Uh, so yeah, I think it probably will end up being a field extension, but as you can see, all the area, all those trees, I wish I could point. Uh, if I go into construction, yes, hopefully you can see my cursor, otherwise this is gonna make no sense at all. But hopefully all this area here will be cleared and that would then be a field extension. 
that make a lot of sense. In fact, it probably would be up here because the uh, production isn't that big. It would just go here somewhere. If my cursor didn't show up on screen, that would have made no sense at all. Okay, so let's just park that there. Um, yeah, carpentry. Now, which is the carpentry? There it is. £60,000. It's quite a big production. Okay, and we'll do a bit of landscaping with the uh, texture. I think that's the same. Yeah, gravel. Oh, it's costing us money, that. Right, we can always change that in the future. And I do actually have my interactive zone markers turned off. So we'll turn those on. That is out at every point. We desperately need to go get some fuel. We do not want to be running out. Otherwise, we're going to have to go and buy a fuel bowser, which will be an unnecessary expense. So I think there. Yes, brilliant. OK, so into productions, into the production tab. Wood or planks, furniture. Obviously, we're doing that from wood, not planks. So we'll activate that. And yeah, just with one load of almost, what, that's two thirds, probably two thirds full. So yeah, and also the cycles per month is only 216. So it's not particularly fast either. But a nice addition. We can obviously sell more in the future. I'm going to have to go and refuel and service the tractor. So we'll just pop the trailer over here. Probably make it squarish with the uh, field. Okay, yeah, so that's nice. Yeah, it hasn't taken up a massive amount of space. As we're down here with the tractor, we'll check up on these bales. 90%, okay. Um, I'm getting excited to sell them. Diesel first. Full tank, I don't think we'll ever change this tractor. We don't need to, it's just perfect for this farm. Uh, but we'll probably change uh, or add to the fleet, change the smaller tractors. Okay, so almost a, a full tank that, 326 pounds, that seems cheap. But I'm not complaining. And no, 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 don't do that. A repair, 4,000 pounds, that's obviously much more expensive, that's filters, oil, all that sort of stuff. Maybe some replacement parts as well, which weren't consumables. But it has to be done, and it is still showing bad, but I'm guessing that's the grapple, or maybe even the front loader, but there's no point doing those. Is it the grapple? No, it's probably the front loader. Indeed. Yeah, I don't see in this game what benefit there would be in servicing that, because, yeah, it doesn't affect, it doesn't slow down or drop things more if you don't service it. So I think we'll just keep that money instead of wasting it. Here we are back at the carpentry. Timber time. Timber time would work. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Just the time bit just reminds me of Tractor Time with Tim. Very good channel. I do love his videos. Uh, if you've never watched Tractor Time with Tim, he's always trying out all the, the smaller machinery. Good fun. Definitely check out his channel. Well worth a watch. Anyway, let's continue with felling these trees. Uh, what is that log doing? These logs have got a mind of their own. They're removing themselves from the trailer. The logs are fighting back. They do not obviously want to be turned into furniture. Okay, well, I guess if the trailer is permanently strapped, but no, they're jiggling. They're jiggling now. This is not good. I'm wondering if that trailer has suddenly glitched and needs to be reset. These things sometimes happen in FS. Um, 
Yeah. Resetting the trailer hopefully would fix that issue. Look at look at that. What is it doing? It's like a magic wand which has got a mind of its own. Hmm. Yep, this one slipped through the net. I think we're gonna have to reset the trailer. I'm gonna put all these these logs into the uh, trigger. Frankie, run over this one now. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what happened to it. It's a mystery, but yeah, these things, uh, they've happened before with other machines. It's just a bit weird how these things do happen. Right, so James was just gonna put that into there. Get ready to press the button. At least these ones are safely in. And there we go. But yeah, I think it is going to need to have a proper reset. So Chainsaw said he wants to try it again before resetting it. So we'll just put one in and see what it does. If it comes flying out again, we'll know it's still possessed. It seems fairly static, as you would hope. <laughs> a stationary log, how hard can that be? Right, okay, let's continue. We might have to reset it still. Ah, the good old duplicate trick. Chainsaw 100 and Chainsaw 100. This is a very lazy version of Chainsaw 100. Literally doing nothing, and now he's vanished like a ghost. <laughs> I think when he gets out of the tractor again, it, it must move the, uh, the model of the man. Anyway, almost finished with loading this trailer. Oh, crikey, this, is, this isn't going too well. Um, yeah, I think we have enough in this trailer. Well, we do definitely have enough in this trailer to fill that trigger. So the rest will have to go to the cell point. But what I'd like to do is remove these stumps and then start cultivating. Because, yeah, this is obviously going to be some kind of field extension. Unless, of course, we keep building productions down here. But I'm sure in the short term we can at least make some money from this land. From the fields. From a field. So I'll just finish loading up this trailer quickly. I'll probably jump cut. Come on in front. <laughs> okay, yeah, and that pretty much clears the trees that are down. So I'm now gonna head off. I'm gonna get a cultivator. Well, we should probably get the stump grinder actually. Or both. We do have a front three-point linkage, so we could get both. Please don't roll out. Thank you. Thank you, come again. <laughs> There's the stump grinder. And we'll take our weight off. We'll put it back on again afterwards. But let's just let's just put this on the back. I'm not too sure if Chainsaw is wanting to do this as well. So I will just ask him quickly. Yeah, so I've taken the cultivator off, because I'm going to stump grind. Stump grind doesn't take too long. And in fact, the cultivating won't take too long either. Yeah, it, seem, it seems like it's taken so long to get to this point. So slow, taking the trees down. But then, yeah, if you were to look back at what this used to look like, I think actually where the silo is, that used to be trees as well. So we have actually cleared a sizable area. 
but yeah, still a lot of work to get to this point. Certainly a slow way of gaining land for arable, but otherwise it is just sat here doing nothing and the trees are worth quite a bit of money so it is worth doing. We are succeeding very well on this series. Oh, those silage bells are probably almost ready. Cultivating done. <laughs> that was so fast. Ah, uh, right. Okay, so let's take this back to the farm. We'll go and drop it off. Uh, oh, actually, no. Let's let's go and check up on those bells. Oh, I hope they're not on like ninety-seven percent or something. I want to sell them. Desperate to sell these bales. Ah, ninety-six percent. Ah. <laughs> oh goodness. The chainsaw is going to spread lime on that. Um, I don't know if it's been soil sample actually. We should really soil sample it. No, yeah, I don't think he soil sampled it. No. Let's um, let's do that. Gonna take two samples. And there we go. Take just a second to get the results in. Would it be two hundred pounds? Yep. Okay. So it's the same. It's the same soil. Um, what is that loam? Yeah, loam. So it's a pretty good sort time. Ooh, a bag. I have run over it. I'm going to drop that off there. Well, I don't know how good this is going to be. I don't just consume the... Well, they're tubers, but yeah, you fill it with seed in this game. Um, yeah, I don't know how quickly it's going to consume it, but we, we do need to have more over here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's consuming it very quickly. It's not the ideal place for potatoes, but we're just going to do it anyway. It's so slow. Goodness me, that's slow. It's times like this, I wish we had the real speed mod. Just so we could increase it to even 6 miles per hour, that would be better. Still, we're going to have more potatoes. We actually have another field of potatoes already, so having this is going to be a bonus.
lovely. So I don't know how well you could see in the time lapse, but Chainsaw did sell the bales and made just over six thousand pounds. Obviously, I was tied up here, but yeah, very good. And this is going to be a nice area of potatoes. Don't know if we should get a production for the potatoes or not. Probably not. We're not going to have that many, although we do have two fields. Uh, we'll have to see. But, yes, this is going to bring us to the end of the episode. I'm going to take this back to the farm. Hopefully next time those Slovians will be ready. Hopefully. <laughs> I can't guarantee it. Uh, if they are, I think those two fields are at the same stage. So if they are, that's going to be a serious amount of soybean harvesting that we need to do. So it's going to be a pretty hectic episode once again. Okay, right, let's take this over here. And park up. Chainsaw is putting that fertilizer on. And then, yes, it's going to germinate between this episode and the next one. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. The link for Chainsaw's video is down below. And until the next episode, see you again soon. Bye for now.